My married name is Anna Mae Harpster. Um, and what have you brought to the harvest today? Um, a picture, a calendar, a uh, Chef Boyardee calendar, which was their 75th anniversary issue, and some booklets that were published. I, I'm not sure how many years, but the war, the war every. Years. The war years. Yes. The war years, called What's Cooking. Uh, they were sent to the servicemen because a lot of their wives worked there, so they were sent to them. Right. Um, so why did you decide to bring these to the harvest today? A friend. Yeah. A friend and former employee. So how did your family acquire this item? Oh, uh, well, just by working there. My husband worked there for a long time. His uh, service was interrupted by the war, and uh, that's how I got involved. I used to work in the summertime when the tomatoes were being grown and manufactured. I worked, I worked in the laboratory. Uh, where, where the tomatoes were grown was on a real high part of the manufacturing plant and that's where we took specific gravities and color and all those things that the government had to know. It, it, a lot of it was because of sending uh, food to the troops. When Mr. Boyardi came, of course, the, the war really did make Boyardi's popular. And uh, a lot of people got jobs, summer jobs. And of course the farmers that, uh, and, we, and we did have I don't know if I should mention that we had migrants that came and migrant families and stayed in the area for the tomato growing. The children even went to, you know, they started school when, when the kids from Milton uh, started, a lot of the migrant children went also. Yes, a lot of us found out a lot of things during the war that we had to endure, like just like everybody else. Did you enjoy working? Oh, yes, I did. I worked in a state, my job was in the stationery store. So working at Boyardi's was a lot more exciting. <laughs> So the stationery store was your other job? Yes, but not at the same time. It was different eras. And after tomato season, then uh, I guess I did well enough to get a job there. <laughs>